Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek3 and today I wanted to show you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. Today I'll be using my iPod Touch 6th generation running iOS 9.3.3. This jailbreak will now work on all of the 64-bit devices running iOS 9.3.3 and I'll have all those devices listed for you guys in the description. If you guys want a jailbreak, go ahead and navigate to this website. I'll have a link down in the description below. And once you're here, go ahead and click on the blue download button. Go ahead and save this file. And once you've done that, go ahead and navigate to the second link right here. It'll take you to a website with Cydia Impactor. This will allow the installation of the Pengu tool on our device. So go ahead and download it for your specific machine. I am running on a Mac computer, so I'm going to go ahead and download the one for Mac. And once you have those two files downloaded, you should be good to go. Go ahead and open the Cydia Impactor file, and this will begin the installation process. Now on Windows, you're going to have to run the installation tool, and on Mac, just drag it to your applications folder. After the installation is completed, go ahead and open up Cydia Impactor wherever it may be. If your computer asks you to open it, go ahead and just click open. And if you're on Windows, do not run it in administrator mode. This will mess up the process. Alright, once you have Cydia Impactor open, go ahead and plug in your iOS device. If iTunes shows up on your computer, be sure to quit out of iTunes. We don't want it open during the jailbreaking process. Alright, once your device is connected, go ahead and just drag in that other file we downloaded. It should be an IPA file, it looks like an iTunes logo. Drag it in and it's going to ask you for your Apple ID. Don't worry, your Apple ID information is just used to be sent to Apple so they can approve of this profile when you install it on your device. And this is where it gets interesting. After you put in your information, it's going to give you this developer warning. Now what this is about is when it installs the profile on your device, Apple will immediately revoke it from their servers. So this profile will only work for 7 days after you install it. If you're a developer, it will last for a year. But for most of us, we're not developers, so it's only going to last a week and then you'll have to come back in here and redo this process. So go ahead and just click OK to this developer warning and it will continue to install the Pangu application on your device. And if you see this logo on your device, you can go ahead and click out of City Impactor and you can even unplug your device if you want to. The rest of this process is done strictly on your device. If you try to go into this app, it'll say it's untrusted and you have to go into settings, general, scroll all the way down to profiles and device management. Find the one that looks like your Apple ID and I do actually have mine blurred out right here. Go ahead and tap on it, click the big blue trust button, hit trust again, and now you can go ahead and go back to your home screen, scroll back to the Pangu app, and now you can open it and run the jailbreak tool. Once you're in here, go ahead and click OK. Be sure you hit OK to the notifications and hit start, and now go ahead and just lock your device. And now at this point, your device should give you a notification where it tells you the jailbreak is currently running. So don't touch your device, just let the jailbreak run and install Cydia. Now while this is loading, I want to quickly explain to you guys what semi-untethered means when it comes to jailbreaking. A semi-untethered jailbreak means every time you reboot your device or if it runs out of battery, you have to run the Pangu jailbreak application on your device again to get it into its jailbroken state. If you don't, Cydia won't work, your tweaks won't work, nothing would work except your stock iOS apps and the apps you downloaded from the app store. And I'll show you guys what that means here in a second. Now when your device boots up, you should be able to swipe over and find Cydia on your home screen. Go ahead and tap on it and it's going to go load all your packages in. And at this point, congratulations, you are jailbroken on iOS 9.3.3. You can go ahead and install whatever tweaks that work with iOS 9.3.3 as of now. And I do have several videos about that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and power down my iPod Touch 6 generation and show you guys what it means to be semi-untethered. Alright, my device is restarting and while this is loading, I did want to show you guys an email that Apple just now sent me about my certificate. This is about the profile that we installed to jailbreak our device, which will now expire in 7 days because it has been revoked by Apple. Which means if your Pengu profile ever does expire, you have to rerun Cydia Impactor like I showed you in this video. So if this ever becomes a huge problem, I will show you guys how to reinstall this certificate in the future. So as you guys can see, if I go to my Cydia application, it will just keep crashing and this will do the same for all of your tweaks. So you have to go back into this Pengu app, click start and then close your device. And it will go through the exact same thing where it gives you a notification then restarts your device. And once your device reboots, you will be back in your jailbroken state. You can slide to unlock and have all your tweaks back and Cydia will be working once again. 
Anyways guys, this is how you jailbreak iOS 9.2 through iOS 9.3.3 using the brand new Pangu tool on Mac with the help of Cydia Impactor developed by Sarik himself. And in case you guys don't know, Sarik is the creator of Cydia, so you don't have to worry about any viruses getting on your device with this process. And if you guys are wondering what you can do with the jailbreak, I do have several videos up already of tweaks and themes you can install on your jailbroken device. Alright guys, if this video helped you, don't forget to leave a like, that'd be great, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.